Lord is my shepherd, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. People of God, sing hallelujah. Comfort. He always holds 
Hey, y'all. You have to know you are not alone, baby. Woo! We about to get started, you all. Happy Friday. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I love that song. Father, we just thank you for this time. We thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for the sweet reminder that we are never alone. We are never alone, no matter what is going on, no matter who walks away. God, we are never alone. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that gives us that internal assurance that we are always present with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this day. Thank you for every soul that sees this live, oh God, or the replay. Bless them on today, oh God. Holy Spirit, have your way. Wrap your arms around them on today and let them know that they are not alone. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. So some of y'all may know we do Testimony Friday on Fridays. And I didn't change the title like three times if y'all been paying attention. Because I started off going to do one thing that I had in mind the other day. And then it changed twice this morning, but I know for a fact, Holy Spirit always speaks and the Lord wants us to trust him on today with our relationships. So that's what, what we're going to talk about. And I'm not talking about just romantic. I'm talking about your family relationships. I'm talking about your friend relationships, but we're also going to talk about uh, that relationship with your spouse. So I'm going to share a little bit about my testimony. You all know I shared back some years ago. Um, it was probably back in 2016. 2016. That was when I finally got to a, a, a it was a low point. I, I was in a relationship and then I, I had to get out the relationship because God was leading me to get out of the relationship. And it's nothing worse than wanting to be with someone that God is telling you to separate from. I don't know if you've been there, but it can be a very heartbreaking and confusing time. And so as I would go before God with my broken heart, he began to deal with me concerning all the relationships that I was connected to. And that's when I told you all that I finally surrendered to Christ. Yeah, I was saved, but I was doing my own thing. But at that point, that's what brought me to a place of surrender. I was so broken that I was like, okay, I give up. I give up. I keep making messes. I done been divorced twice. Didn't want to be in either one of those marriages, you know, and I thought this was the person. And here you are telling me to walk away. I was in a very low and broken place. So I said, okay, God, you do what you want with my life then. Since obviously I don't know what I'm doing. And one of the things God showed me during that time was that I kept trying to put people in a place of intimacy where he was supposed to be. Every relationship, it wasn't just romantic. It could be friendship relationships. It was family. I was chasing relationships left and right. And God just wanted me to chase him. God just needed me to be intimate with him. Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And he is the only one who deserves the place where I was put in people. See, I, I used to be disappointed a, a lot of my life because I was chasing people, but nobody was chasing me. 
Only Jesus was chasing me. I'm chasing family. I'm chasing this relationship. I'm chasing that friendship. Getting disappointed time and time again. And all along, Jesus was the only one chasing me. So when I surrendered, the first thing God did was he snatched people out of my life. He started separating me from this person. He started showing me, stop chasing, stop chasing them over here. Stop going over there. Stop calling them all the time. Focus on me. Focus on me. Focus on me. And so I went through a period of being, I would say, I'm not even going to say being lonely, but it was a period of loneliness. God ripped every, every relationship I had in my life. It was done. It was done. Or it was distanced by God. And God began to give me the proper perspective when it comes to relationships. See, you don't need to be deep or intimate with nobody. Yes, with your spouse, but you ain't even got to get that deep because the only one who can satisfy your soul is Jesus. So it's only so much you need to even do in that area. And God began to show me, you ain't got to be all close. You ain't got to get all deep. You ain't got to do all that with these people. Only with me. Only with me. And so God began to give me a new perspective on relationship. And I'm going to tell you something. When we trust God with our relationships, it's not going to matter anymore who comes or who goes. It won't matter anymore who calls or who texts. Your birthday come up. You ain't tripping off why they ain't text you. It's so many things. It's just, it won't even matter. You just have peace that God, I'm trusting that if this person is supposed to be there, then they'll be there. But if they're not, I'm not going to worry about it. That's not my focus. No way. That's why people I ain't even got to talk to ever again, because I ain't thinking about you. All I have to do is focus on God. And if there's something he need, wants me to do concerning you, he'll lead me to you. Other than that, I'm not thinking about you. Praise God. Now, I want to read this scripture to you. Somebody could put it in the comments. It is Psalm chapter 37, verses 3 through 7. Psalm chapter 37, verses 3 through 7. It says, trust, rely on, and have confidence in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed securely on his faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him also, and he will do it. He will make your righteousness, your pursuit of right standing with God, like the light and the judgment and your judgment, like the shining of the noonday. Be still before the Lord, wait patiently for him and entrust yourself to him. I love that scripture because to me, it just covers every base when it comes to family relationship, friend relationship, romance, especially romance. And let me say this right here. Stop going through a person's phone. Stop snooping. Stop doing all of that. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to give you a testimony. If you just trust God with your relationship, and this is any relationship, I'm going to give you a testimony. If you trust him, he will reveal to you in his timing what you need to know. Sometimes when we go snooping and trying to find out stuff, we find out the wrong stuff. We see something we don't need to see. And sometimes it could be deception. It may We may see something that ain't even what it is. So stop doing that. And you shouldn't be with nobody anyway that you don't trust. But I'm going to tell you a testimony. I'm an early bird, so I go to bed early. If I'm up at late talking to you, and I don't mean just anybody, but like my girlfriend, Una, we was on the phone two or three o'clock in the morning. I don't ever do that. Normally I'm asleep. Most of the time I go to bed early is the point I'm trying to make. I stayed before God praying for my daughter. One night in the middle of the night, it had been about 11, 12 in the, in, in, in the night. The Holy Spirit woke me up and said, go in your daughter's room. This is why I say, <laughs> this is why I say, if you just trust God. Make sure you praying and he will show you what you need to see at the right time. So I go in there and she had company. Thank God I ain't catch none. But the point is, Holy Spirit showed me that at the right time. I didn't have to go doing all this extra blah, 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 blah. And I ain't telling you what to do. I'm just saying if you trust God with any of your relationships, he will reveal to you at the right time what you need to know. He'll reveal it. 
And I've had so many other situations like that. So many other situations like that. That I can't even tell them all. I pray. If I don't got peace about something, I pray and I sit back. And I wait for the, for the Lord. Like it says, wait on him. And at the right time, he'll show you. Don't jump ahead of him because he doesn't need your help. And sometimes when we try to help God out, we mess stuff up. Even when it comes to family relationships, things may not be the way they should be right now, but pray about it. Trust him and you listen for him to lead you on what to do or what not to do. Amen. I had a friend that uh, we were friends for a long time, a long time. And I'm that type of friend. At least I was. <laughs> well, I'm telling you everything. I was young. You know how that go. You got that best friend. You tell them all your dirt because you're thinking we're best friends. So you telling me all your stuff. I'm telling you all my stuff. It was probably 10 years down the road that I found out that this person was not sharing with me how I was sharing with them. And it broke me. It broke me because I'm not like that with people. And so God gave me to forgive her, but to let that die. Because it's not fair for you to be one way with a person, but you're not doing the same thing. Amen. So God be looking out for us in every aspect. He is concerned about every area of your life. He is concerned about it. And that's why if we just trust him, he'll lead us. He'll guide us. He'll show us what to do. And when things happen, you all, I'm telling you, you have so much peace. You ain't tripping and, and listen, you don't live in fear about your relationship. You ain't anxious. You ain't none of that because I'm trusting God. So God, if you say it's over, it's over. God, if you say it's moving forward, it's moving forward. God, if you say this or that, we all good. You know why? Because I'm putting my trust in you. I know you see the whole picture. You created the whole picture and I don't have to worry about anything. I'm trusting your leading because you know what it is. You got to stop taking things in your own hands all the time. You got to. You got to. Trust God. I wrote down a definition of trusting God. And it says believing in his reliability, his word, his ability, and his strength. The opposite of that is mistrust, to doubt to be uncertain, to have suspicion. God wants you to rest in him, to be at peace. If your spouse baby ain't coming home like they supposed to, you pray. I always tell women, you have the power to pray and cover your family. Can't no whore in the street cover your husband. She can't. She's already out of line. She's operating under the influence of the devil. You can get on your knees, baby, and cover your husband and pray that devil away. You have power. You just got to know how to use it. And I ain't telling you to accept anything. That's why you got to let God lead you. He may tell one woman to walk away if, his, if her husband cheat. But he may tell the next wife, you stay and you pray for your husband. You stay and you cover him. God was sharing something with me recently about uh, infidelity and how I'm not saying it's right, but in some cases, you will need to forgive your spouse and to stay. And I know it's not going to be easy, but I'm going to tell you something. You And I know it's not going to seem fair. But let me tell you something about fair. What wasn't fair is what Jesus went through. What wasn't fair is him up on that cross giving his life for our sins. That's not fair. When I bring things to God or used to, that's what he would bring to me. I suffered for your sins. So now when I suffer for other, for other people and they stuff, I don't say nothing. I'll be like, thank you, Lord, because you didn't have to suffer for me. You didn't have to go to the cross for me. You could have left me out of that. But he didn't. <sighs> the main thing we have to get is the power is within you. 
You have to listen to what God is leading you to do. You got to listen. You got to listen. Because if you just pray and you be patient with him, he will lead you. He will guide you with every relationship that you have. Either he going to tell you to go, leave him alone. You can love people from a distance. God dealt with me about that because I, I grew up with a mindset. I got to be around people because we related. No, I don't. Especially if they toxic. Especially if they are peace robbers. No, I don't. I can pray for you from over here. God hear my prayer for you. And it doesn't mean you don't love people because you don't want to be around them. That does not mean that. Whatever your situation is today, you pray about your relationships. If God is telling you to cut ties with a person, I'm trying to tell you what I know, especially those of us who hold on to relationship. I ain't going to say us because that ain't me. Especially if you hold it on to a relationship that you know God has been telling you to let go. How you going to desire a, a husband or a wife and children and all this stuff, but you holding on to somebody God then told you to let go of. And sometimes God ain't even got to tell you, you know it going in. That situation back in 2016, awesome guy. I knew going in, it was going to end in heartbreak for me. I wanted it so bad. That's why I did it. Knowing God was not okay with that. And sometimes it's where God is taking you. It's where he's taking you that you need the right person connected to you in your life. Or you're not going to get there. You're not going to go there. You're going to go somewhere, but it ain't going to be where God has for you. That abundant life. You can't get there because you won't let go of this. You won't let go of this person knowing they are not the person for you. So if the Lord is leading you, it's not that it's going to always feel good. As a matter of fact, I've learned in my walk with Christ, it, it requires a lot of suffering. It requires a lot of suffering. But it is an honor to suffer with Christ. It is an honor to suffer with him. It's not supposed to be all rainbows and strawberries every day. And you got to get that. It's an honor to suffer with him. So whatever he's leading you to do, I advise you to listen and to follow through because he knows what's best. You don't know what's best for you. He knows what's best for you. And the hardest thing is, I'm telling you what I know, is looking at a person that you love and saying, I'm sorry, but I can't do this. I'm sorry, but I got to let you go. Mm. I know it's rough, but look at me now. God brought me through. He'll bring you through. He'll bring you through, especially when you're obeying and doing what he told you to do. And you just never know what God has in store for you. You never know what you're keeping yourself from by disobeying God and by holding on to the wrong relationships all across the board. I'm not talking about just romantic. It could be friendships. The wrong, I'm telling you, somebody was trying to attach themselves to me. And sometimes, you know how you meet people and you just, you're kind of uneasy. You don't have that peace. And so I kept praying and saying, God, why, why don't I feel peace about this person? And it just never would. Uh. And then finally they did something three or four years later. And I said, ah. and I had to cut them off. God never gave me peace about that individual because he knew it was somebody that I did not need to be connected to. So you just have to know. You have to know when God is speaking to you concerning certain things but especially with relationships. I spend a lot of my time alone and you know what? I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all, but I, I know right now I'm connected to the right people and it's not going to always be a lot of people. I, I'm not connected to a lot of people. I, it's funny because I have a large following, but it's not for me to be connecting with a lot of people. It's for God to do what he wants to do. But in my personal life, I have very, I can count on one hand how many people I'm connected to, not associated with, connected to. And I'm all right with that. So let God lead you. Pray about your relationships and please obey when he shares with you what to do. Because he is. He's concerned about you. 
He's concerned about you. He only wants the best for you. He only wants the best for you. But we have to get in the right place with him of intimacy. And you will see, those of you that are there, when you have that intimacy with God, you don't even, it's, it's, I'm not going to say you don't worry about other people, but it's like your relationships are in the right place too. You know how to keep people in the right position in your life. You're not, you're not clinging on to them and doing all this extra stuff when you're supposed to be doing that with God. You're not falling out and having a fit when certain things happen because your trust is in God. You're trusting him to handle everything. You're not anxious and you're not worried. You're not, you're not doing all of that because I know that God, I'm praying about this situation and I, I put my hope, my faith and my trust in you. And I know God that you're going to lead me the right way. I can trust that whatever you allow God is for my good. And I can sleep good at night because I'm not worried. You can't go wrong trusting God, but you can go wrong trusting in man. The last scripture was in a Psalm. What was it? Psalm 143. And I believe three says, do not put your trust in man. Do not put your trust in man on any level. Only in God. So. You all be encouraged. I hope that I said something to, um, you know, to encourage you today on this Testimony Friday. Um, I will be back to cook for those that are interested in that. I want to make some fish and chicken wing plates, but I have to be able to find some good fish. If the fish don't look right, I won't buy it. So um, I'm going to look for that and then I'll come back this afternoon. So I love you all. I really, really do. And I pray you have a great rest of your day if I don't see you. I'll see you at some point in the near future, okay? <laughs> God bless you all. And if it's not 143.3, look, look, start at 143.1 and you will see. It's right there at the, kind of at the top. So, all right, you all be blessed. Thanks for hopping on. And if you're watching the replay, God bless you too.